Hi, my name is John Blickman with Blickman Engineering, and I'm at Northern Brewers World Headquarters today to show you our new product, the Hop Rocket. This product is predominantly a hop back, but it can also be used as an inline uh, a hop infuser for your dispensing system, also known as a randalizer, and it can also be used just as a simple filter for your filtering needs. Uh, it's a very simple product to put together, and we're going to show you how to assemble it right now. The first Part and the main part is the main canister and it's got half inch NPT fittings on the inlet and on the outlet. This cone shaped piece is the base and what we're going to do first is install the coarse filter on top of this. There's a little stud that's there and then you take and put the wing nut on there to hold that in place. Just Slightly snug is fine. Now the main purpose of this is um, to let the wort, as the wort comes in the side, it would come in this side fitting, the wort will flow all the way around this whole uh, opening and then the wort will flow more evenly up through the hop bed so that you don't have any channeling or shunting and you get better utilization out of your hops. Um, the other function it serves is to keep uh, the main hops from just backing up uh, into your hoses and to kind of keep it suspended there. This is the main canister seal. It's just a big rubber o-ring and you lay that on there. The second part is the uh, the fine filter. Uh, this is just a perforated screen and on here we've got a, a rubber seal and you can see there's a little wiper edge on there. So this is the thing that really keeps uh, the hops from flowing out of the hop rocket. And the purpose of this seal that we just slip on here, over the edge, its main purpose is to hold that filter in place when you invert it. Uh, it also provides a nice seal to keep any of the hops uh, from flowing out of the hop rocket. Installation of this is very simple. Just drop it inside and push it down. We would then place in the amount of hops that you want, uh, a maximum of uh, five to six ounces of, of hops that can be uh, put in here. And remember that the hops expand as they get wet. So you can't just fill it completely full because they do expand. Then all we do is we invert this after you've got the, the hops in it. Uh, usually easier if you put, put the, uh, the seal there. So you get your uh, your seal on and then that's placed on top and it just drops in. Next we place on the band clamp. That just goes right over there like that. And then we put on our T-bolt. And you just tighten that guy down. And you can see it drawing right here. You can see it drawing up tight. And as simple as that. So now we've got our hop rocket all fully assembled. And again, this is the inlet, and that's the discharge. And the main reason we have the inlet on the bottom so that the air naturally purges up and out so you get less oxidation of your beer as it's filling up. And, and then that would be your outlet that you'd run uh, downstream. And that's the assembly of the hop rocket. Okay, now we're going to show how we use this as an inline uh, hop infuser for your tap system. Obviously we would have these parts all sanitized, but for demonstration purposes we're just going to place the fine screen at the bottom like we do with the hop back. And then we're going to add the little golden flowers of nectar here. And this is, uh, the holes in here are uh, 330 seconds. So that's going to filter it fine enough where it's not going to uh, plug up your dispensing line, which are going to be 316s. So no worries there. So there we've got the hops in it. You can put uh, as much as you'd uh, like in up to the 
um, that five ounce limit. And again, um, remember that hops do expand when they get wet. So that's, even though it's not completely full, it will be when the, uh, they absorb all the water. So, we're just gonna place our O-ring on. And then we've got our core screen here. And then we're gonna put our band clamp on. That was a cursory comment. The, the maximum pressure rating of this unit is 30 PSI, which is plenty for uh, about any dispensing situation you'd have. So um, that's about the only limit on, on pressure for it. Now, when I use it in a dispensing system, you would want to take CO2 uh, before you fill it with beer, uh, run CO2 for it through it for a little bit to purge out any of the oxygen that's, that's in there. And, uh, and then you can begin uh, running beer through it. Now we're gonna show you how the hop rocket has been installed inside uh, the chest freezer in this case into the dispensing system. Here's the keg uh, out. And again, we run it into the bottom. Now we have, uh, before connecting this up, we had purged this with CO2. That keeps uh, the beer from getting oxidized. And again, it'll run in the inlet here and then as the beer pushes up, it'll push all the air and, in this case, CO2 uh, out. And then this is the outlet. And then it runs right to your tap line. So essentially, you're just putting this in the middle of your tap line. So again, uh, this is rated up to 30 PSI. So you can even do this with uh, you know, some uh, highly carbonated Belgians and the like. And then to test this out, we're just going to draw ourselves a pint of beer. Nice, bright hop, flavor and aroma. Love it. Okay, now we're gonna show you the hop rocket being used as a hop back. And we're gonna walk through the, uh, how we connect this up to our brew pot. And we simply just come out of the drain valve into the bottom of the hop rocket. Now, if you're gonna use a pump, uh, you would wanna put your pump uh, on the inlet side or right in this line uh, not afterwards, and that would just give you that extra pressure to push through the, um, through the hops. And it works fine uh, as a gravity system as well. So we come out here, the wort's going to fill up, and it will purge the air naturally out of uh, the canister. And then it'll flow through our chiller, and then into our fermenter. So we just simply are going to turn the valve, and things are beginning to flow. And it'll take a little bit before you get the canister filled and the heat exchanger filled. Now you can see it's kind of working its way through here. And now we're draining into our carboy. Now the nice thing about using a hot bag is not only do you add that uh, nice bright hop aroma, but it also acts as a filter to filter out any pellet hops and uh, trube that may still be in your work. One comment I'd like to make is the hop rocket is designed for whole hops, leaf hops, uh, not for use with pellet hops because it'll just flow through the, the, that fine screen. Um, however, when you're using it as a hop back, the leaf hops actually act as a great filter media if you're using pellet hops in your boil kettle and any you know Irish moss and then your brake material as you run it through the hop rocket, the leaf hops will actually filter all that material out, leaving you a very clear wort going into your fermenter. If you're looking for a great product to add that bright hop aroma, to act as a filter, or just to add that extra bit of hops at the end of your dispensing line, the hop rocket is a great product for you.